hello logan how are you my dear friend i'm doing wonderful thank you guy the only thing i got out of that was logan <laughs> <laughs> i wish i spoke hebrew or yeah well give or, give give it a time give it a time uh i'm 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 here to also uh, teach you that no problem beautiful. no problem perfecto perfecto uh so uh logan uh the people that don't know maybe uh logan have his uh channel in on youtube it co it's called uh, uh decode your reality and this is the page you can see everybody can see the page you can go to uh to the videos you have a lot of videos he's he he's he's on it i mean there is there is nothing that you cannot decode that that's right yes C can you give uh, some words about it yeah of course yeah um i'm gonna have to start adding some some subtitles for for those of you in israel so i'll start adding those to the videos um but uh yeah i mean i've been decoding this reality of how our life is for well over 10 years now and i've pretty much you know decoded all the major people places and things uh that are working around us at all times and you know what i've kind of come to the conclusion or the realization of this reality is that this vessel that we call a body is you can say we're all incarnations of the god or as like you know in the judaism it's the g dash d right um but it literally is we're, we're having this human being experience and it just may be that we are being used by the god or the supernatural as i like to call it to experience its own reality through the physical avatars that we all are using right now at this present moment and also the biggest thing of them all that i have uh, found is that uh we live in a predestined scripted reality meaning that the reality that we're experiencing was already written before we all got here so we're just playing out our parts and there's no changing that you may have a little bit of free will for sure but everybody has their own job or responsibility on the world stage and figuring out what your job or responsibility is is the most rewarding thing anybody can do here in the world today well, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. You know, you know, you know why I, I'm going to tell you why, because uh, there is in Hebrew, um, I, I'm going to say it in English, but in Hebrew, we said everything is written up. I mean, everything is already written. That's now, good. this is one. Second, you talk about the responsibility. Now, everything, every word we, we have to spell. It's a spell, you know, it's a it's a spell. Uh, so reality uh, um sorry uh, not reality um uh, responsibility okay it's we have to respond with our ability this is responsibility now they try to teach us from zero from day one that the re the responsibility is to uh, to learn something to have a, a profession to have a job to pay bills on time this is their responsibility it's not responding with our ability with what we've been born i mean uh, they they just it's like they try to break us not to do our job our real job that we are here to uh, to do do you have something to say about this aspect yeah even even it it doesn't matter how high on the totem pole you want to go it doesn't matter how high on the pyramid that you want to look at yourself as like the 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 people call them i don't call them but the, a lot of people use the word elites right they're just typical people like you and i right um and they have a position in life and they incarnated to do their job and some of these jobs that people have in the higher positions a lot of people don't like those people okay but I, if, if you go swimming in the ocean and there's a shark 
are you going to go hang out with the shark or are you going to get out of the water? No, you're going to get out of the water because there's the shark and the shark's a predator and it may just in, end up biting you, right? So you, this is how this reality works. We live in a reality that is predestined. People incarnate as predator, people incarnate as prey. It's the top to the bottom and that's it. And if you got a good code, if you got a good script, if you got a good responsibility in this reality, well, then go fulfill that dream. Go live out that life. Go do what it is you got to do. But I can tell you right now from doing decades of research now through personal development all the way through the mystical arts and now astrology, numerology, I get into all this. These, this reality uh, is playing out by like a puppet master, if you will. You can call it God. You can call it whatever you want to call it. It goes by many names, but it's a Ponzi scheme. It owns everything. So any religion, doesn't matter which one you follow, it's going to play tribute to the same boss. The boss owns it all. There isn't any like different bosses for different religions. They could be different deities, but ultimately they will serve the same boss that runs this entire reality. And this entire reality guy is ruled over by astrology. It's ruled over by numerology. It's ruled over by symbols. Okay. And these things that rule over us, it, they don't care about what you think about this reality. All it wants to do is run the reality. And we are the little minions kind of down here experiencing the own its own game, so to speak. So we're being moved into these certain parameters in life through these different ages. If you're a fan of astrology, we've now moved into or seemingly have moved into the age of Aquarius. And the age of Aquarius is not going to be anything like the age of Pisces was. It can't be because we're moving forward with very advanced technology. They're growing babies in labs. They've now come out with that. This is all part of the script and you don't have to like it or you, you don't have to appreciate it. That is just the way it is. And a lot of people are not willing to give up the age of Pisces and the way things once were. But if you're willing to be a futurist, so to speak, and live through the now moment and through these ages that rule over us, life can become a lot more blissful instead of like focusing on the dystopian, you know, the people are so set on, you know, the mark of the beast and this and, and all these things are happening. But like, what are you going to do about it? You know, are you going to complain? Are you going to go push up against the res those kinds of people? Because I can tell you right now, magic 101, everybody listening here, magic 101 is whatever you pay attention to, you end up giving energy to. Okay, so if you don't like the leaders on the world stage and you keep talking about them and you keep pushing up against them and you keep protesting about them, what you're doing is you're giving them more gas, you're giving them more energy and you're making them more powerful. You don't have to like what I'm telling you right now, but I'm telling you that's how magic works. And these people at these elite levels, when you get into the conscious level of this, they know this kind of stuff. So the best thing you can do as a human being is stop paying attention to the mainstream, turn that off and pay attention to building something in your life that will be worthwhile and constructive. What do you see in the world? Do you want to make it a utopian world? Not everybody incarnated to make it a utopian world. That's the whole thing about it is it's a yin yang world and not everybody incarnated to be the good guy. And people can't what? grasp this stuff, right? If you're Beautiful. a good guy, you're against your adversaries, the bad guy. And the well, bad guy beautiful. knows the bad guy knows that he, you're going to get, you're going to give the bad guy energy or you're going to give the bad girl energy. They, if you're, if you're conscious at a high level, they know this. So they welcome it. That's why they market. The marketing is everything on the world stage. Mainstream news is just marketing. It's sales. They're selling you a story so you can give it your energy to propel their vision forward. But it's not even their vision because their minds are not their own. Their minds are being used by the supernatural. It's not mankind doing anything. Mm -hmm. It's just not. It's just the supernatural running its own game and using us as the pawns and the, the rooks and the bishops and the queens and kings on the chessboard. It's beautiful and I'm 100% agree with you. You know, this show, we try to do it uh, mm -hmm. a few times. We we set a, we, we set a date because I really wanted uh, for the Israeli people to know uh, your beautiful work that you do Thank and you. your beautiful soul and mind and uh, you have a big heart. But I, I want people to know the people that, that uh, I have luck uh, to know and uh, 
thank you for 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 uh, thank you for being there. Uh, and uh, today I I would like to focus, if you like, if you like, sure, of uh, course. anything you want to talk about, with a song. Let's go for a song. Okay, okay the song um, uh, Hotel California is good for you. You like sure. this song? By the Eagles. <laughs> by the Eagles, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, by the way, the Eagles. Are, oh, okay, I, I don't want to say nothing. I want to give you the stage, okay? Sure. Because I, I think, uh, well, I don't think I know that you do what you do. You do perfectly. So thank you. Um, and uh, I, I want people to know that uh, Logan is uh, is really a perfectionist of what he do, and uh, you're gonna see it now when you when when you're going to see the what how is going to break everything apart and make you the real puzzle that you need to see <laughs> and to hear uh, because music have a big part in this spelling world uh, i mean not only the words but also the vibration and the um, frequency and everything that they match together uh, i'm wrong i'm right what you say logan no, absolutely. That song by the Eagles, Hotel California, probably their most famous song. It is their most famous song. It came out in 1976. First was sung in Arizona in 1975. And Arizona is the, is the Sun Devils. And the, the whole concept of this, why the Eagles sang this song in Arizona, being the Sun Devil and being on the 33rd degree latitude, what up, what's up with the 33? People immediately want to focus on some of these secret societies. They don't, it doesn't have anything to do with these secret societies other than them attaching themselves to the numbers and knowing exactly what the 33 means. But the Hotel California by the Eagles was very, uh, interesting because those five band members that were in that band, I've decoded that and you can check out my, I called it Hotel Capricorn because Capricorn is, is Kronos, Father Time, which is what you're trapped in. You're trapped in time and the hotel is your body. Okay. That's what the hotel, Hotel California means your, your body in moving through time and you only get so much time and you're not getting out until you die. And even at that point, what the Eagles is saying through this song is that you never get out of this game. You could check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Now, I'm not saying that's going to be absolute, right? This is just theoretical based upon a musician writing a song. But I broke down all the musicians and what I can't, what I found was that you know, I go by numbers and I add them up in birthdays and cards and tarot cards and astrology. And what I found was, was that the five band members, when you add up all their birthdays, they comes to the number 77. And if you take that number and you bring it into alchemy, which is about, all about transmutation and lead to gold. That's how this whole reality is built upon. It's built upon an energetic exchange. The Greeks back in the day, they coined it we're food for the gods. It was called ambrosia. Okay. And that's just your energy, your thoughts, your mind is not your own The little voice in your head. That's talking right now that owns you. You don't own that. You, that owns you. And you may have a little free will for sure. But ultimately, if you get off track on what your job is, it's going to push you right back on track again to do whatever it needs to do to make this reality move in the way it wants it to move. It's not mankind doing it. But this Hotel California, the body that we have and the five band members adding up to the number 77 through alchemy, it ties to those of you that are fans of the periodic table. It's everything of our reality. We're made up of a lot of these minerals and you can get a lot of clues from the periodic table. 77th element is called iridium. And it comes from the Greek goddess called Iris, the Iris of your eye. This is the Hotel California right here. And the 12 apostles in the Bible, the 12 tribes of Judah, the 12 astrological signs, it's all inside your eye. So anybody that's a fan of astrology, astrology is your eyeball. It's your iris and your pupil. And I know you have two, so you're like, well, wait a minute, where's the other chart going to come from? Well, it comes from the now moment. You'll have your chart of your birth stamped into time and then you'll have the chart on the other eye that constantly moves through the now moment and that's the hotel california and these guys sang about it and they were being used to sing about it. these people these five band members they didn't have a choice guy 
-hmm. These five band members were, they were written into the script. Like whatever's coding this reality says, okay, I'm going to send five spirits. If you want to look at it this way, and they're going to incarnate into these five bodies, Glenn Fry and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And, and, and now they're going to come together and they're going to create a band called the e why the Eagles, because the Eagle is tied to Scorpio, the eighth house and the eighth house forms the hourglass, which is what we live in. And if you flip it on its side, it's the infinity symbol. And that's why when they went to the moon, supposedly, whether or not they did is irrelevant. They said the eagle has landed. Okay. Correct. Yeah, the eagle has landed. So there are so many layers to this reality. You just got to start paying attention to it. But I've broken down the eagles, Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, uh, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin. I brought all these bands were all being used to deliver the music on the world stage. They the didn't Beatles? have a choice. The Beatles? The Beatles? No, I've done the Beatles. Yep. They all were being used to deliver their messages on the world stage. They're, like a lot of these, if you read, if you read, like even the Hotel California, you read the, the design behind that song. I think Glenn Fry and Don Henley. Uh, and when he says it, he goes, how did you come up with it? He's like, it just came to me. The voice in my head, it just came to me. Yeah, well, where did that come from? That's it. What is it? It's the supernatural using you, using me to deliver whatever it is you're here to deliver on the world stage. And again, there may be a little bit of play here. And I think, you know, if, if you're not happy with this reality, if you're upset and mad about it, then go create your utopia instead of giving your energy to the dystopia that you're so mad about. Because if you continue to give your energy to the dystopia, this Hotel California, I mean, <laughs> You know, from my research, and I got a big decode coming out on transhumanism tonight. And it seems like that's what we're moving towards. And people are so afraid of that. Mm -hmm. People are so afraid of like, I don't, what do you mean? I, I, I want to still be a human being. What if you don't have a choice? What if you don't have a choice? You're, I mean, what does that look like for you? People are so against that. But if you look at technology, I mean, this is, I mean, we couldn't do this 20 years ago right here, what we're doing didn't even Correct. exist 20 years ago so we're able to reach a large audience based upon not what mankind wants to do what the supernatural wants to do and age of aquarius is all i know thyself and it moves into the the um the digital world we're not i mean this is where cryptocurrency comes into play people are so against that but like who here uses a map that's like who you here drives around in their car and opens up a map, a book and looks at it. nobody does that anymore. Nobody plays eight tracks and spins records pretty much. They still exist, but those are being phased out. Nobody here uses a rotary phone on their wall anymore. That's what I grew up with. We now have cell phone. I mean, you, this is a little, this right here is what we're, we're giving all our energy to this. This is yep. what we're giving our energy to. Everybody's like paying attention to this. Where do you think all the energy is going? It's going into this machine right here, artificial intelligence. Yeah, and but the thing is, Logan, but the thing is, my dear brother, the, the thing is that we are uh, living in, an, in a natural, uh, a natural uh, body, natural hotel, okay? Our hotel, we are a host in this natural ho uh, hotel, uh, the body. So... If we take this body from his nature, from nature, I mean, are 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 we are we losing something? Are we missing here something? Because uh, it's not afraid of tech. It's it's not technophobia. Okay, it's not technophobia. It's um, I don't know if 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 it's. I don't know how to say. I I don't know really how to say it, but it's not like. Uh, uh, um, it's like a, something that you cannot explain that your body is connected to the uh, he wants the source he wants the nature of uh, of everything even if we are saying that the 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 big mind okay it's all uh, coded the uh, 010101 i okay I, it can be everything anything but our body uh, our hotel that we talk about this hotel california yes he's down to earth i mean it, it wants nature we, we want to eat uh, fruit we want uh, you understand what i mean we of need course. touch we need touch 
Of course. Uh, we don't need the, this reality, you know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you have something to say about well, I don't, that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, I'm like, people that are watching this, please don't take and don't assume that I'm all about transhumanism and I'm like a futurist looking at like there's no choice in the matter because I still think there may be a fork in the road for you to make the decision on what it is that you're going to do. But I will postulate here to all of you listening to this. That if you were, if, if they said, well, you know what, you can't, like it's, if you, a lot of people use theology, they use, the most popular spell book is the Holy Bible, like it or not, right? And that's one of the instruments of this reality. Now, if you're Hindu, well, it's going to be the Upanishads, and that's what their textbook's going to be. And which one's going to be, you know, going to be moving, we all be, we all may be creating our own fractals, our own reality, but it's the collective consciousness that moves this reality. You can be someone who's outside of that. For sure, but the collective is simply moving towards transhumanism, and that's to me that's what the Holy Bible is. the The sixty six books of the Bible, when you break them down, taught, that 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 whole book seemingly is is a book of moving into transhumanism, and it's the most popular spell book on the world stage. Now, again, um, if you were had if you had a choice to make as a human being, and you were like, okay, and the and the, the people that rule over that control the money and the food supply and et cetera, et cetera. If they said, well, if you don't get this chip, well, then you can't run a business. You can't work here. You can't do anything. Well, I guarantee you that the majority of people watching this would be thinking differently about what they would be choosing moving forward. Because when push comes to shove, when you got to get your prescription, when you're in pain, you know, over in, in, in America, over 500,000 people are on prescription drugs. Okay, they rely on pain medication so they can function every day. And you pull that plug on people, what do you think they're going to do? They'll do anything to get rid of the pain. This is just pain now. People get hungry. A lot of people don't even know how to fast. They don't, have, they don't take care of their temples. They're reliant on serving the body. And they'll do whatever it takes to serve the body and the mind. So when we're, if we're, this is what we're moving towards, are we going to have a fork in the road? Maybe we, I mean, that's why I'm saying I'm neutral. I'm prepared to move the way this reality is going to move. And if we're given that choice guy of the fork in the road, which, which choice, if you, if you have that choice of like, well, I want to stay a human being, what does that look like? What if that's not the age of Aquarius? Because the age of Aquarius through astrology, it's an air sign. It's ruled by electricity and father Uranus. Uranus is going to run cryptocurrency. I've already broke down blockchain and, and cryptocurrency twice. And it seems like Kronos, Saturn is handing off the reins to his daddy Uranus. And Uranus is going to take, and that rules over the age of Aquarius. Uranus does. You run us. Uranus, okay? And so we have to take these concepts into consideration for 2000 years. We have this age of Aquarius or so it seems, but then after the age of Aquarius guy, we move into a earth sign called Capricorn, which is ruled by Kronos. Yeah. And when you, and if you go from an air sign, the mind maybe moving into machine. And then at the end of the age of Aquarius and that collapses, you then move back into the age of Capricorn, which is an earth sign. Maybe we move back into the human being experience. I mean, there's a really big show, which I'm going to include in my transhumanism decoded on Netflix called altered carbon. Altered carbon has a direct match in numerology as the word transhumanism. They both equal the number 44. Okay, they both equal the number 44. Bitcoin, the first cryptocurrency, it has the 44 attached to it. Satoshi Nakamoto, they're all, this is all about transhumanism, cryptocurrency. Okay, so uh, if we go into the digital age and we go into more of a machine, even with altered carbon, I've pulled the charts. In the story of altered carbon, it says 300 years into the future. Well, that's only like, that's not, because these ages of, the astrology, they last supposedly for 2,160 years. So 300 years into the future. And I pulled the astrological chart for that. And I mean, I'm going to be releasing that on my transhumanism decoded, but is this the way we're going? And in that show, it shows that there are still human beings that have the Hotel California, which is just means your body. It doesn't mean you're going to be 
you know, transcendence and you're just going to upload your mind onto a digital format and you're going to eliminate the body. But I think the Bible itself, theology, is talking about a paradise. It, it, it may be talking about two things. Number one, it could be the fork in the road where you choose to be a human being and you go live as a perfect human being in the physical Hotel California. Or it's talking about a digital paradise because how do you make yourself perfect right now? I mean, you can take an application on the phone. You can upload your picture on there and you can make yourself, you can enhance, you can, girls can put, you know, breast augmentations, guys can put muscles, you can make your face chiseled, take away any kind of scars, you can make yourself look perfect now. That's a digital paradise and that's what the Bible talks about. So the, those that wrote the Bible, that were whatever their mind was being used as, what exactly does that mean? Because... I mean, if you're a fan of the New Testament, Revelation 21 verses 1 talks about there will be a new heaven and a new earth, and the sea will be no more. What, what, what's the sea? Is it this? Because the Vatican is called the Holy Sea. They run the people. So is this the sea, or is the sea the sun? Is the sun going to go out? That's a possibility. If the sun goes out, we're in darkness. Now you're talking cyberpunk which is what the whole altered carbon thing is based upon is the cyberpunk era, which is about uh, a world of electronics and digital and, and, and robotics, you know, and that's an, an advanced technology. So like, I think people just need to really be open to these ideas versus just being fixed on some kind of set outcome. And then that leads to disappointment and disappointment feeds the energy either way. But it's, I think it's better to be in bliss and be, I live in a state of neutrality. My work, my research, I tell my subscribers, live in the state of being in the heart space, neutrality, right? And just be an observer, not being attached to any outcomes because you may be disappointed and that may get you angry. And when you get angry, you lower your frequency and you're more, more, more liable to, to make some bad decisions. We call them bad decisions, right? So these are the concepts that I talk about and I have been talking about for a while, being a fan of astrology, numerology, the mystical arts, the tarot, the cards, theology, uh, bring, they're all the same. The, uh, the Bible, theology, you know, J Judaism, Christianity, they're all the same. They all work for the same boss. There's no separation. You can call it, you can call God, whatever you want to call it. it. I mean, you go back as far, the oldest known text are, is Hinduism, which is Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Now, if you're if you're a practitioner of Judaism, it's it's Yahweh. Well, but who's Yahweh? Well, Yahweh's Brahma. They're they're a match in numerology. Brahma's the creator god. Yahweh's the creator god. It's all the same. And then you go to Zoroastrianism and you got Mazda. Well, who's right? Who's Mazda? He's the creator god. Then you go back to the ancient Sumerians and you get the story of Enki and Enlil, and the yeah. father Anu, which is going to lead back to Uranus. Mm -hmm. So these are these these it's like people want to just argue and divide and folks this this time it's the time to unify to unify and become one and realize I'm you and you're me that's you're beautiful. just having a different experience than I am you have a different job and a set of responsibility like I'm doing my job I'm a decoder amongst other things an artist etc but my main piece on the on the world stage is to show people I'm a tour guide I'm going to show you the amusement park of life but I'm not going to tell you what rides to get on. That's not my job. My job is not to tell you what to believe. I'm all about making the truth your own. What do you believe as, as the listener right now? That's all that matters. And you don't need to defend it. Defending means you lower your frequency, which means you get down in the lower chakras, which means you feed the, the dragon down below. That's not a good place to be in. You want to be here in the heart space. You don't need to defend your truth. Just stand by and own your truth. You don't have to believe anything I'm saying. Do your own research, though. Right. And, and that's really where I think anybody out there listening right now, you're going to find your bliss. But decoding yourself is where it's at. The age of Aquarius, I know thyself. Who are you? What's your code? What's your astrological blueprint? What's your numerology? What's your life path? What's your enneagram? What's your gene keys? What's your human design? What's your personality type? These are all things at your disposal to use as a human being to figure out what the hell you're doing here as a human being. Like, I know you've uh, interviewed David Icke a few times guess what yeah. he's doing he's doing his job that's what his job is his job is to show people and expose you know what he calls the reptilians right well is there reptilians well i've never seen one but it sounds pretty cool right i mean i, I there's ants there's spiders there's sharks there's piranhas i mean why would there ever not be that 
you know? So he's doing his job. I broke down David Icke in his astrological chart. And it was right there in plain day of what his job is, what he's supposed to be doing besides being a footballer and being a newscaster. His job is to, is to do what he's doing right now. And, and he's doing a great job at it, right? But you can't get angry at the adversary because they're doing their job and they look at David as a threat. Like, why are you trying to expose me? So a lot of the people that are adversaries of David Icke that are not in the conscious level of knowing how this reality works, they're going to start attacking David Icke and he gets resistance and then he gets shunned and then he gets censored and all the things, because when you start to step on people's toes, what do you think they're going to do? Just sit back and do nothing? No, if you're not, if they're not conscious and a lot of them are not, right? You could be at a high level and not even be aware of what the hell's going on, right? Just because you're at a high level doesn't mean you know how this reality works. So these people, when you, like, if you step on, if someone goes and, you know, someone comes to your house and, you know, and starts to try to take over your house, what are you going to do? You're going to stop them. You're, you know, you're like, hey, man, don't, tre don't tread on me, right? So that's exactly how this reality works, man. He's doing his job, but he's going to get resistance. You don't think I get my persecution and resistance for putting out? Of course I do. I get people all the time. I get, they're called agents. <laughs> the agents this are- This is how they call, this is how they call me. There, are, uh, there is a group of people here in Israel that they say, "I work with the with the government. I work with the agents, like like agents. Yes, but but I I explain that those people are are uh, 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 they are talking from a point of view of jealousy. Uh, they look at the fame of the of what we do. We don't care about fame. We want to touch people. This is what we want to do. This is what I want to do. I yep. want to touch souls. I want to touch people. I, I come from from music. You know, I, I that I compose and write. I, I, I want to tell all the people now that uh, um, when uh, in the in the second that you knew my my uh, date of birth. I mean, it's like you knew everything. Uh, like you knew who I am, even if I, uh, even if I tell you or not tell you, you know who I am. And people have to understand that when I'm talking with Logan, okay, maybe maybe you think that uh, he is talking about one topic or 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 one point of view, but not. It's it's a really really a uh, big 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 uh, place that a lot of colors are are coming out and in. Um, People have to understand to know how to how to eat this. You know what I what I mean, Logan. I do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And this it was important for me to tell the audience here in Israel because they don't use to know uh, your work and your way. Uh, but it is it it's interesting. You you talk about uh, um, death. Okay. You talk about death. Let's go there. Sure. So if if okay from we are in this. Hotel California, yes, and where where we go after that? We leave yeah. the hotel. Where we go? Well, there's there's a few possibilities that we can be theoretical on right here, and that's all we can do is form an opinion with theories because there's nobody that's left to come back and be able to prove it. Yeah, somebody can come say, yeah, I went over to the other side and I had these you know near death experiences. NDEs are pretty popular, but that's just an opinion, right? I don't know what that means. But, you know, from what I see here, according to Hotel California, and I'm not, again, I'm not saying the Eagles singing this song and writing these lyrics are absolutely correct. But, you know, I tell you, man, there's been a lot of other things I've decoded that are kind of saying the same things and the patterns are showing the same things. That when you, when, the name of the game in this reality, in my opinion, is leveling up. So, for example, like, let's just use a big name on the world stage right now. Lionel Messi from Argentina, who just won the World Cup in soccer, right? On football, right? Mm -hmm. well, how, why did he get to incarnate to be that guy? How come I didn't get to be him? Well, may, and I mean, what kind of life is he living, right? Pretty sweet life, maybe. I mean, it's not going to say it's all going to be roses all the time. But I mean, you know, pretty much guy can, he can have whatever he wants. He play, he's playing a sport that he, he's doing what he loves. I mean, doing that is a blessing. Why did he get that? Well, maybe, maybe just maybe in his past life, he checked all the things off the box to level up and become Lionel Messi during this time and play for that soccer team and be blessed with those kind of genetics and be blessed with being able to have those soccer skills. You know, if you're a fan of NFL football, Tom Brady, Used to play for the Patriots. Everybody in most seven soup. Why did he get seven Super Bowl rings? Maybe he earned it in his past life. 
And there's a very big uh, possibility, guy, that we never get out of this game. You just reincarnate and you change characters. Mm. And you just change characters. You get a, you're a male one time, then you're a female. Maybe you move into a dog or a cat. Maybe you level down because, you know, I, I have often postulated that if you're somebody who's really being like an evil person on the world stage, like let's just use a very famous name on the world stage for serial killers, Ted Bundy. Now, I don't know if any of your listeners out there know who this guy was. Notorious, one of the worst ever in the United States. Over 70 known kills, admitted kills, okay? Mm -hmm. That's, can, you imagine, can you imagine being incarnated into that body? And that, because I, I broke down his astrological chart and I said, Ted Bundy didn't have a choice. He was born to be a killer. So if you, if this is real, if, if he didn't have a choice, because some people could say, no, he had a choice. I'll show you his astrological chart and I'll show you that he didn't have a choice. And to me, that's hell. Imagine incarnating and being a serial killer and being forced to kill and your mind is not your own and you're out there. And then you're killing these people. Why are you killing those people? Maybe they deserved it. Maybe they were bad people in their past lives and they have to live through this kind of killing. And Ted Bundy, he's living, that's okay. a hellish life to live through. Okay, so you say you say that uh, Ted Bundy, okay, and it's not the guy who played in uh, Married with Children, okay? This is the other Bundy. Yeah, yeah, not Al Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> not Al Bundy. Yeah. Uh, this is another, another Bundy, but it's not funny. Now, um, the thing is that, do you think that something... Uh, uh, in this creation, net natural creation, because we we, we cannot uh, uh, cover our eyes and say that there is no nature, okay? Because we we have the nature here. We do. So, uh, do you think that in this nature, uh, uh, the killing, the robbering, uh, all those stuff are 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 born with? I mean, it, it's something. Uh, maybe the decoding of of this, okay, uh, could take another way or to go in another uh, direction and uh, and be something more positive than the low, something more high, um, um, high frequency than the low frequency that taking life. He could be, I don't know, uh, um, uh, instead of a killer, uh, he helped deliver uh, kids in uh, in a hospital. I don't know. Uh, uh -huh. You know, something to take the... We talk about the yin and yang. Yep. So maybe it's something that, you know, that we, we can... Maybe this is the free will. That sure. We can no, take I, it I, ab ab absolutely. I mean, if you just take... I, I study the human body to really kind of represent how this reality works. Because this is everything. You you know, you and me, we're the universe, right? We close our yeah. eyes, there's no more universe. I know life goes on, but we are the universe, right? We open our eyes and this is Hotel California. But the, if you look at your body, if you study the mechanics of the body, if you study the biology of the body, inside your body, you have what's called an immune system. And the immune system is compromised of white blood cells, et cetera, et cetera. And the job of the white blood cells are to defend the body when the foreign invaders come in, bacteria, parasites, etc. Now, okay, if you think about this from a creation standpoint, why would something be created if there was no use for it? Like the white blood cells, they needed a purpose, and their purpose is to defend the foreign invaders that come into the body. So then you postulate the question, who created the bacteria and the parasites? Is it the devil? Is it the boogeyman? That come on. Come on, man. Everything has an immune system in there to function in all. And that's the yin yang. White blood cells are the are, are the, the adversaries of the, uh, the parasites and the bacteria and vice versa. But the white blood cells would not have a job if it wasn't for foreign invaders. So something had to create the foreign invaders to give the white blood cells in the immune system a job. What created that? Well, if you're going to say God, then you could, then you go and you you can go back to Isaiah 45 verses seven. That scripture in the Old Testament where it says, "I create evil and, and good at the same. I'm the I'm the black and the white. You know, I do all these things." Isaiah 45 verses seven. You have it. You have it on Genesis with a tree of good and bad. 
That's right. The good and evil. That's you right. don't have to go far away. I mean, nope. you have it on, 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 in the beginning. You have yep. it. Yep. So, I mean, these are, I mean, if you just look at the human body and you, and you, you go inside the microcosm and you start to study the predator prey inside of you, the, you know, the cells of the body and, you know, the, 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 the ciliates and, you know, in the microcosm, people don't study this stuff, but you have single celled organisms and they're constant. There's predators down there inside your body right now. And this is all about death and regeneration in this reality. I mean, I have said, you, you walk outside, the majority of people, when you walk outside, you go outside your door, you're killing things. You're stepping on insects, you're stepping on bugs, you're, and you're not paying any attention to this stuff. And then I would say, well, are you more important than the bugs? I mean, ants, they have families too. They work for a queen, they work for a hive. You know, like, are you more important than the ant? Most people, the most people are out there spraying raid and they're killing them. Like, are you at that level of consciousness? I'm, I'm not, I, I'm all about, I, I save everything. Right. That's my level of consciousness. I keep spiders around. I don't care. I live with them. Right. Because I'm not many better than them. Right. But that's how far down I go with these fractals. And I realize in this reality, man, we're killing machines and we don't pay any attention to the killing. We just pay attention to the stuff that's the murders and stuff like that. But I'm going to tell you right now, here's the big wrench guy in all this. This reality is not real. It's a movie. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? You're in a movie. Something's watching us. So like when the next time any of you out there turn on your Netflix or Amazon Prime or go to the movies, is it real? Well, I know a lot of you, you watch these shows and you start crying. You get emotionally involved with these characters. They're not even real. And you're getting emotionally involved with them. How do you determine the separation? You don't. So the same thing is this reality. Something's watching us. You can call it the all-seeing eye. People, they see this all the time and they think it's evil. It's just the all-seeing eye. That's all it is. Something's, it's the Truman Show. You're in it. And this reality is not real. And you get, I mean, I've broken down the show Westworld. If you're a fan of that show, the yeah. movie 1973 by Michael Critchin. Okay, like I broke down all that. And that makes more sense than anything else that... Whatever spirit, whatever you want to call it out, so the supernatural, it looks down at earth and says, oh my God, that game looks a lot of fun. I'm going to go play that game. And then it incarnates down here. It becomes an avatar, you and I, and now the mind, your voice in your head owns you. And now you're like a little puppet on strings. And you may have gotten a good code or you may have not gotten a good code. Like, I, like I'm saying, it's like if you're born in a really, really bad code, like you're poor, maybe you're born in a war-torn city, Maybe you deserve, maybe you didn't do good in your past life. And now you're having to pay the price. That's why I say to people, it's good to make sure you're doing service to others in this reality. Because if we are going to level up, if we're going to move into the human being experience, if there is that possibility, as because I, I know you're a fan of being a human guy, right? You made that very crystal clear. I am too. I love being a human being. I just don't like the suffering. I don't like the suffering, but it's part you're of so, living the, you're the human so being. You're so right, experience. Logan. You're so yeah. right. You know, I, 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 I all the time say that uh, people are so concentrated of not dying that they forget to live. Oh, and yeah, when beautiful, you for, man. And when we forget to live, you forget the, li the, the, the other living. I mean, a, a, another, another exercise that I, I, I try to say to, uh, to the people that choose to, uh, to listen and see what I'm doing is don't accept the different and the other start to uh, to see everyone as a, a plus a, 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 he, he uh, everybody is not different and other than you he is more he is you are now two you are now three you are now five you are now you have to grow yourself yeah with people not grow yourself from people with people yeah. we are here together it's not uh, uh, uh well the together is two words it's to be in gathering <laughs> to yeah. gather yeah. we have to gather ourselves yeah. i mean um, well gathering is something that you have in the rainbow if people know what is rainbow living in the nature but uh, um, Yes, it's it's uh, it's an illusion. It's an illusion. We live in an illusion. We are, and uh, and that's the point. We have to stop thinking about not dying, 
<laughs> and start living. Start living, yeah. Because it, because we are we are born dead. Okay, yep. <laughs> we are born dead. The death we have it for sure. Yep. Now let's concentrate on living. Yep. That's it. And in living, giving, uh, give, giving from yourself is giving to yourself. It's all mirrors. Everything is mirrors. Everything is you. So uh, to treat people that we know or, or animals or anything that we see, that we meet in life, we have to treat it like we treat ourselves, like we wish to treat, to be treated. That's right. And, yeah. So right. uh, this is something important that I wanted to say. Very uh, very yeah. well said. Yeah, no, totally. I mean, throughout every throughout everything that I've said here today, where I've covered covered a lot of territory here, really all that matters number one is what you believe. What your what is your truth? Not not what I say. Like you could say Logan's full of shit, doesn't know anything. That's fine. Like I'm not here to win you over, right? And you're not. You, see, life. What I've discovered, guys, people in life, life's about looking good. Right. Life's about like, how do I look in front of other people? Am I going to look good? Am I going to look bad? You know, and then that's all fear based. But when you can know who you are as a human being, you study yourself as, you know, through the, the playing card, like these are the, I showed you what yours was and how accurate was that to describe you? How, yeah. accurate, how, how accurate was your card that I sent you? Uh, oh, you sent me. Oh, I have to check it on the, on the, on the mail login. Uh, right. Uh, you have it. Uh, I don't have it. No, I, I don't have it available. But anyway, the, these playing cards, right? They're not just playing cards to to use in a game. This this is there's 52 cards in the deck because there's 52 weeks in the year, mm -hmm. and there's four suits because there's four seasons, and there's 13 cards per suit because there's 13 weeks per season. So this this 52, the 52 cards in the deck, this is representing our us as a human being experience. So it's like a cheat sheet. So when you focus on who you are as a human being and being grateful, being grateful for being a human being, everything around you starts to change. And, and then if you stop paying attention to the mainstream, you take that power back and you put it into being grateful for, for this temple, for this Hotel California. Mm -hmm. And when you realize that you're a superhuman, like you realize like, Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm really this. You study your code and you realize that you're supposed to be doing this and you knew it all along, but you're not doing it because you're too focused on pushing against this and whatever it is you're doing. You then end up, you end up being able to perhaps make that choice on becoming exactly what you came here. Like I'm doing my job. I know I'm doing my job. Is it going to be forever? I don't know. Like I, my whole decode your reality channel I've been nonstop sacrificing my life to, to do that, but I love doing it. I, I love every minute of it. So when you wake up and you can put your feet on the floor and saying, I'm, I love to be alive. I'm grateful. I'm a human being, and I can't wait to start my day. If you can get in that space, life will become beautiful for you. But if you wake up every day and you're just mad and angry at the world and it's this and they're doing that and it's them and they, you're just, you're just emptying your gas. You're just emptying all your energy to them. And they'll take it and it feeds them and you just drain yourself. So we can't do that anymore as human beings, no matter what the outcome is, no matter what we're moving towards, all that matters is the now moment right now is all that matters. What are you doing right now to create? If you want to live in a utopia, what are you doing to create that? Because if you're pushing up against the dystopian world, you're feeding it. So you're not creating a utopia by doing that. I can tell you straight up, that's not how magic works. So no matter what, no matter if we not if we reincarnate, no matter if maybe we get out, maybe we can, you know, change avatars, maybe we can get out of the game. A lot of people like they want to get out of this game. Okay, cool, but we may not have a choice. But the choice choice that we may have right now is becoming the best version of yourself. And what would that look like for you as an individual out there listening right now? Like what do you really want to do in life if you didn't have to pay your bills? Right. Don't say I want to sip pina coladas on the beach. Like that's not living, right? You're going to get bored of that. What do you want to create on the world stage? What do you want the world to look like? Go well, I all there. the time, I all the time talk about the alternative. Okay. This is something that I'm, I'm trying to promote, uh, to, uh, uh, see, see your, make your reality as you, you think that you should live it. I mean, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't be a minion that 
is being guided. No, don't be a leader, but be your guide. I mean, there is a script that is right, and okay, it's we have beginning end. That's it. Okay. Now you can choose from the beginning until the end what and how you want to live this life. So uh, uh, people are talking about being uh, more natural. I mean, don't go anymore to, to the supermarket and try to uh, start to grow your food uh, by yourself. I mean, know your know the land, know how to plant, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, be more uh, uh, without uh, working with money and start uh, collaborate and not comp uh, comp uh, um, uh... wow I, I, I start to forget. Thought. well I, yes. I, that, that's that's a good point I mean here's something to postulate for anybody out there listening right now okay some of you are fans of cryptocurrency some of you have cryptocurrency and if if the cryptocurrency market takes off like the majority of people that are in the crypto market think it's going to take off. There will be some very wealthy people on the planet. Okay. So I want you to think about this as an individual right now, a guy yourself included. All right. Imagine you wake up a month from now and cryptocurrency takes off. It goes, it skyrockets. We move into that space. And now you have $20 million in your bank account. Your life is going to chip. What would you do at that point? You see, that's the space in your mind that you need to get into, or you should get into right now to create from. Because if you're creating from, I'm living paycheck to paycheck, my life sucks, it's them, it's their fault, they're screwing me over, they're trying to... If you're, if you're creating from that space, it's going to be probably ugly. It's not going to be a utopia. So no, well, I know, I know, dear Logan, I know that there, uh, this is what's going to happen. One day, people are going to wake up and be very rich yep. but but there is a reason for that and there is a purpose for that they want these uh, uh these uh, uh, few years there are going to be like that uh, and then they're going to break everything they doing is this in purpose because when people are entertained and they feel they have a lot of you know they eat everything they want and everything is test tasty and they buy everything they want and they have five cars not only one yep. uh, and they have everything five houses uh, yep. 25 women uh, 45 men uh, everything that you want you know is like uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah okay yep. so you have everything and then it's going to be like you know a, a, a tower of the don domino Yep. They're going to take one and everything is going because now people you you, you talk about the uh, um, uh, current uh, uh, current area yeah uh, current affairs era, yeah. Uh, yes so this is why this is why the corona came it's uh, it's also in purpose they, they are changing now laws they are changing changing now a lot of things that people don't see because they are in the drama same is going to be with crypto with money with everything it's going to be the same it's only for entertainment yep for people not to realize what they are doing this is why it's going to happen now if we are going to support mm -hmm. our uh, our our happiness yes yep. uh, our happiness and our uh, uh, good feeling and and life on money on how how we ha how how much we have or not have i mean uh, you don't think that this is this is going to, uh, what is going to break the humanity well i think that uh you know like again if you had 20 million dollars in your bank account how would that change you like I already know oh. what I want to do. I already I, I already know that I want to build a utopia with that. I don't I'm not about five cars, 20 houses and like yeah, it's fun to have nice things and that's okay, but really where's your focus? Like what would you build with 20 million or 100 million? I know a lot of people I've had this discussion on many podcasts with some of my other friends. We've all postulated this. So I, I know that there are going to be some people that are going to be service to self. They're going to come into all this money, they're going to become rich. And they're just going to go out there and they're going to want to be service to self. That That's not how I roll. I'm all about service to others. 
My main proponent in life is service to others. If I had $20 million in my bank account, it wouldn't change my service to others. But you got to ask yourself that question if you're in that position. Because yes, I think you're exactly right. I think there will be a lot of people that get wealthy. They say that crypto will create the first trillionaires. Mm -hmm. What does that even look like? That's crazy. But that's maybe where we're going right now. And if that is really where we're going, the world's going to change majorly. And yeah, then you would have the, the the theological expressions of people will be partying and they won't be paying any attention. And then the rug gets pulled out from underneath them. Well, let me tell you that already you have millionaires because you have, uh, let's say, in Thailand or in Italy, I don't know, uh, different coins that you can say it's millions yep. for them. I, I mean, the name is millions, but... When you when you realize is okay, it's one hundred dollars. I mean, why you call it millions? <laughs> it's hundreds. Yeah. Yeah. So, you see, it's 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 a perspective. It's it's a it's a game. That's the game. It's like Google. When you type something in Google, or in in your country where you are, and I type the same in Israel, we don't get the same uh, 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 the same uh, outcome. outcome. Yes, uh, this is how they play. They play mind games they they play they give us entertainment that's it that's it logan and uh, I, you know if someone come today and it's a very a, a very difficult time for me right now yes well i just uh, i just lost my mother okay and uh, and something is uh, trying to take me from balance but it, it it's not reaching me yeah. it's not reaching me I, I feel it. I feel it all the time. It's trying to, uh, you know, to 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 change everything in my in, in my world. But it's like I'm not letting it in. So, if someone comes now with twenty million dollars and say, "Here, guy, I want to donate you twenty million dollars," I'm I'm not sure I'm gonna take it, uh, Logan. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not. Maybe yes. But I'm not sure I'm going to I'm going to do it in the end. I, I, I will calculate and think about it. I try to feel something. But in the end, as I know myself, I'm not going to take it. Yeah. Well, first off, sorry for your loss, man. I mean, I, you know, I still have my mom, so I don't know what that feels like. But, you know, I, you and I have conversed back and forth yeah. previously on that. So, you know, my condolences to you and your family members that were really close yeah. to your mom. Um, but, you know, this whole aspect of having riches um, and would it change you, you know, like that's why it's so important to know who you are. And again, you know, the thing is, guy, is that some I, you, I go back to this reality as being a movie and it's not real. Now, people, I, some people are like, what do you mean it's not real? It's not real. You're in, something's observing us through the yeah. lens controlling over us through the stargate called astrology the 12 zodiac signs you know and if you don't study that stuff you don't know how it works well you know then it's going to be really hard for me to kind of give you this kind of information back and forth but maybe just maybe you know you have these superheroes and villains on the world stage and which one are you you know which which one do you which boss do you work for you know, if you study the ancient Hinduism text, the oldest known text religious wise is Hinduism. It's older than any of the other ones, supposedly. Well, they talk about the divas and the suras, which are the angels and demons that rule over this reality. And it's just possible that the free will that you have as a human being is going to slide you back and forth on which one's going to carry you off and handle you. So if you become a good person, you work for the angels. You work for the divas, but if you start to slide and you start to get, you know, down in the lower chakras and you slide down towards the hellish regions, then the angels pass off and they give it to the, the demons, the lower part of man, where all your temptation is, where all your, uh, your, your um, satiation, you know, the lower chakras, the solar plexus, that's your belly. What does your belly want? It wants to get fed. And then your sacral, your orange, it wants to have sex and procreate and get that orgasm. That's all lower chakra. That's all the asuras in the Hinduism text. But that's essential. Like people are so against the ego and identity. But you need that to live in this Hotel California. 
You can't escape it. You need to make friends with it. You make need to make peace with it. It's going to, what do you desire? Desire, demon, that D-E is, that's everything. The D, decide. I'm going to decide that. I'm going to decide what to do, right? I'm going to desire that. That's your ego. And it's not a bad thing. That's what creates, that's what created your show that you're doing right now. You desired to do it because you, but your desires, your heart's in the right, where's your heart at? It's, I work, you know, I'm, I'm an angel based person, right? I work for the good guys. Okay. That's your play. A lot of people on the world stage, they don't work for the good guys, but why yeah. would their position be any different than yours? When we're inside of a movie, the movie always has the villain and the superhero, the good guy and the bad guy, the good cop that, why do you think there's a police force? Why do you have an immune system? Because you're the bad guys are the bacteria and parasites trying to come into your body. Who created those? the same entity that created the immune system so when you look at these layers in this reality and you know that this reality is a game it's a movie we're playing the light game that's what this that you're a light being slowed down into fit you're in hotel california and your eyes are the is the hotel that's what you see through this reality and you absorb light you take light in where this is the light game it's a this is the game this is a game we're playing a game man but you're not in control of the game you may decide where you want to go for dinner or what kind of clothes you want to buy or whatever, but the major things that happen in your life, you know, like you, you're going to have reactions to those and they're going to change you. They're going to change you. Everything that happens in our lives, they, they change us. And I think that's exactly how this reality works is that if you, there's a good movie 2011 called the adjustment bureau with, with Matt yeah. Damon, right? Yeah. It's an, I'm not saying it's true, but it's interesting concept. It's an interesting concept. So if you just study your life, I've broken down and decoded my life guy. Like you, I mean, for years I've been doing this and I constantly am seeing a scripted reality before me and I can't change it. It's just constantly scripted for me and I've made peace with it. And But knowing it and knowing and decoding uh, Logan, knowing and decoding your life or your, it, it, it gives you a, uh, I mean, you can, you, um, It's like you are uh, you are breaking even with the living and knowing and the not knowing. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you look at it from an astrological sense, you know, like you you have your sun sign, you have your moon sign, you have your rising sign, all these planetary positions. And then you that's your eye. It's just that's what then you see. Like when you open your eyes, you, you, you end up experiencing this reality. And when you can make peace with it, guy. When you can make peace with your reality and you can become grateful. And I'm talking about like, what, 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 how grateful? I'm talking about like, when you wake up in the morning, are you grateful for your bed? Do you give the, I talk to, I'm grateful. I'm wake up and I'm like, I say, I talk to everything like it's alive. <laughs> my mattress, my pillow, my blanket, my air conditioner. These are all things that give me pleasure. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm giving thanks to them. When I brush my teeth at night, I'm giving thanks to all my teeth because they chewed all my food over all these years. Without my teeth, I wouldn't have all the satisfaction of tasting all that yummy food, right? My eyes, you know what I, I see everything. You know what I do? Before. You know what I do every morning, Logan? I, I, in, in my head, I sing myself happy birthday every morning. <laughs> awesome. So when I'm going out from bed, I'm just opening gifts all the time. That's awesome. All the time it's not opportunities it's yeah. not uh, uh you know it's open gifts that's it right that's beautiful i mean i that's uh, gratitude is where it's at gratitude is better than love in my opinion yeah because love you can for you if you fall in love and it doesn't last it's you conform to it right I, as you see i see it all the time people you buy a new car and you have that pride of ownership and then a year later you know it's got dents and dings and it's not a big deal anymore right as it once was right that's that's that you fall in love and then you fall out of love with whatever you, the, you never get happy in life you'll get you'll have bits of it so the best thing you can do is be grateful for everything around you start paying attention to everything around you as a human being because it may not last right tomorrow's not guaranteed so what are you giving your attention to i'm grateful for everything you know when i when i pay my bills i'm grateful i'm paying them because i have the ability to do it Instead of complaining about it and bitching about it, I'm grateful that I can because I got this code right now and I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know. I could die tomorrow. So I'm just grateful for now. No matter what the future holds, we all these concepts that we talked about, moving into maybe transhumanism, I don't know. These are concepts. All that matters is right now. I'm a human being. I'm flesh and blood. So are you. So is everybody watching this. 
Let's just yeah. rejoice and be grateful for this life that we have as a human being because it's not guaranteed for tomorrow, right? So that's really the takeaway for all of this. Decoding and, you know, and, 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 and you know, being in your position, knowing your job and knowing who you are, that's really important. But overall, the most important thing is to be grateful for who you are in this life, man. And it's a game changer. It's a game changer when you're grateful for everything around you. Start paying attention to everything around you. Well, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I, yeah. I, I really like this. Yes. Well, Logan, I don't I don't want to take a lot of your time. And um, um, I, I believe we're going to do more meetings like that. And, sure, uh, for sure. And uh, OK, uh, I have a lot of subjects uh, to talk with you about and to expose to to the Israeli audience. And um, I hope that from now they're going to follow your work, follow your work. And uh, I say it uh, and I offer to everybody, don't look only what you see in this month. Go back, back from the beginning, start from the first video and then uh, until today. Because, uh, you know, people sometimes they say, oh, uh, you have one hour, one hour, two hours of show. I don't have time. It's a lot of videos. How can yes. I? Yeah. Well, sometimes, sometimes people like us that that really uh, care about people and care about everything, um, we compress everything in 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 a video that uh, in finally in in the, in in the fine in in the end it's going to uh, uh, save from you time. And save from you making maybe more mistakes, uh, because we talk also from our mistakes and our, uh, you know, everybody, every one of us have the inside fighting, uh, because, you know, but what what we can, what you can say, uh, dear Logan, to the Israeli people is there is there is something that you wish to say to say to them. Yeah, I, I mean, I love everybody, man. I, I love all races, all kinds of people, male, female, doesn't matter what your skin color is, doesn't matter what your beliefs are. I don't care. Like if you show up and you're nice to me, then that's all that really matters. I don't I'm not interested in what you believe. Like I have my own beliefs, right? And I'm encouraging all of you. The big takeaway is just go out there and be the best person you can be. As I say, be the best little devil you can be, because we're all sinners down here. And it's okay. Right? Don't try to be a perfectionist Just and don't defend your position. You don't need to try to push up against people and make them believe. Like you're not here to wake anybody up, by the way. None of us are here. Well, you're not, your job is not to wake anybody up. Your job is to wake yourself up. And when you wake yourself up, then you have the position to go out there and create a very big ripple on the world stage to make everybody raise their consciousness. That's that's really what your job is, is to become the very best version of yourself. And the best way you can do that, ladies and gentlemen, is to decode yourself. So out of all the videos I have, 350 plus, the number one video that you should watch is on my homepage, how to decode yourself. That's where I would start. Put some time into decoding yourself. Put some time into decoding your wife and your husband and your partner. Put some time into, especially you with families, decode your children because they are the future of this world. Don't you want it? Like when you decode your kids, you have a cheat sheet. You now have a cheat sheet and you can look at your kid and be like, and you can say, hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? And then they say, well, I want to do this. And you look at their code and you're like, oh my God, that will... Yeah, that kind of fits. So you would gently push them towards that because that's part of their code. You know, a lot of people living today, they are doing a job, they're doing a career they didn't want to do, but their parents forced them into doing it because they wanted them to do it because that was their code, right? And then they end up resenting, getting angry at their parents or not enjoying their life. You see, if you are someone like that, you need to start looking at your code figuring out what you're doing here why are you here this age of aquarius no matter what we talked about today it's i know thyself who are you what do you want to do in this life without the chaos come from a place of your heart go window shopping create a vision board what does your world look like that's the key to this whole entire reality that we movie or not <laughs> movie or not that's the whole key to this what do you really want to do in your life well, we live our lives in 
in in an hotel so let's let's enjoy it <laughs> let's enjoy make it a five star hotel and make it a five star experience oh my dear friend I love you so much really Logan and uh, you know that already okay you know that of course but uh, yes and uh, well we got we we all thank you for the for the time that you you gave us here and uh, we've been we're gonna be in touch and uh, I wish you a, a, a really good Shabbat Shalom uh, it's a weekend in Hebrew and uh, enjoy your family enjoy yourself enjoy your code I appreciate your... that man yeah well sending a ton of love to everybody out there in Israel I love the the Hebrew language I, I decoded a lot you know the 22 uh, the 22 letters so I, I love the language I don't speak it I maybe one day but uh, but um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of, of all that stuff man Judaism I'm a fan of it because there are great people like I have a really good friend of mine who's Jewish and mm. he's a he's a he's I love the guy you know what I mean uh, and he's yeah. You know, and so it's a beautiful thing when when I just you just accept people for who they are, not trying to force your beliefs upon anybody else. That's that's the name of the game. So beautiful, yeah. Logan, from the deep of my heart, thank you uh, very great. much. Likewise, brother. And we're gonna be in touch, my friend. Likewise, sounds great. Until next time, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. Bye.